Um, this morning, uh, <clears throat> I was actually um, wrote up my notes last night and this morning for my uh, word of the year for 2021 and beyond. And it's very amazing, you know, just how the Holy Spirit works with me because he gives me dreams exactly when I need them. So I had a fascinating dream this morning because that's, you guys know, that's part of the way the Holy Spirit works with me. So hold on, I'm going to tell you a very fascinating dream. So this morning, I was given a crystal clear dream where I am in the streets. The setting in the streets is very important. And there is a dice game being played. Now, guys, I know nothing about gambling. Nothing. I have never gambled in my life. I don't know even the names of these games. So, so excuse my language for a moment, but this was what was in the dream. I had a crystal clear dream this morning, and it's called a crap game that you play with dice, and it's a play on words. And I don't gamble. And I don't even know this verbiage. So I had to, this morning, look this up at 7 o'clock this morning. Craps is a popular dice game, typically played in a casino with a pair of dice in which players bet on dice rolls. When one is playing craps, money is then wagered against either the casino or other players in the game. When someone plays against other players outside of a casino, it's called street craps. And that's what this was. It was, and I was down in the street with people and they're rolling the dice up against the wall. And it actually comes from a, a French word, et cetera. Now, I wake up though hearing the word, hearing this word. I am going to give, it's, uh, Roll the dice. I hear the words, roll the dice. I'm going to give double for your trouble. That's what I heard this morning in a dream for 2021. I felt like all of the trouble that we've gone through in 20, that the Holy Spirit was telling, showing me, but that we got to get out in the streets, though. It's the roaring 20s, and that he, want, he wants us to risk. I think he would say to us that he wants us to get out in the streets. We've got to risk. It could get worse before it gets better. There will be riots, sit-in and squatters. But God is going to show up in the streets. God is going to meet us as we crouch down in the ground. Even that is a form of intercession, crouching down in the ground, wailing in intercession. God says, roll the dice. Don't play church. Be the church. No more inside the walls. Get outside the walls. I will meet with you there. Roll the dice. Play some craps. I will give you double for your trouble. This all is fresh off the griddle. This is like fresh pancakes this morning. Isaiah 61, 7. Instead of your shame, I will give you a double portion. And instead of humiliation, they will shout for joy over their portion. They will possess a double portion in their land, and everlasting joy will be theirs. It is a time of the re restoring of the Roaring Twenties. The last ministry trip that I did in 
2020, the Holy Spirit spoke to me to go to the newsstand, and I did. And there was a Time magazine of which I picked up. And the magazine is all dedicated to the 100-year cycle of the Roaring Twenties. And so then we look at the 100-year cycle of what happened uh, 100 years ago. And so I'm just going to say these simple things. Praise is going to the streets. In the 20s, there was a new sound in the 1920s that happened. Women are arising into the place of prominence like never before because it was the women's suffrage. As it was a time of prohibition, there will be, though, an open conflict with drugs, harlotry, and murder by abortion with an open war between the states. Gangs and gangster mobs will arise with a new, as a new form of a ruling, a temporary ruling movement, but God's got his antithesis, a fresh justice and compassion movement will displace the darkness. What is required on our part? The power of laser focus. The power of living life from a parable. The power of proclaiming Psalm 91. The power of prayer and fasting. And the power of corporate communion. There is a lot that we are each carrying. And I just, again, want to commend to the body of Christ the stewardship that Mike and Cindy Jacobs are carrying. And I want to thank the Lord for Bishop Hammond and for our other statesman that is on here today with Bishop Joseph Garlington. So I'm simply bringing you uh, a little portion the Lord keeps speaking to me about the nature of truth. Truth has the final say. Truth is a spirit that listens. And truth is a person. And the Holy Spirit is going to be highlighting <clears throat> the nature of truth. And so I think there is a, a Holy Spirit movement of truth in the streets that's going to counter this other false movement of truth of uh, in the streets. And uh, yeah, it is a very difficult period of time, but I was given this dream that I'm gonna bank on, that we're gonna roll the dice and God is going to give us double for our trouble. <laughs>